Today, I will be showing you how I was able to achieve this look. Let's get started. Today, I will be using my um, Joy Tea Gel Polish Set that I got on Amazon. Links to this set would be in the description below. I like the white in this collection because it's number one. Um... It, it kind of very pigmented, so you don't really have to use too much of it. I will also be using a natural practice stick. In the Joy Tea Gel Polish, I'll be using number T13, number T16, number T07. And T4. Oh, I'll also be using um, my Elsa No Cleanse Top Coat. This is just a, um, this is just to create the shadowing on the nail. And I'll also be finishing it off with the Joy Tea Matte Top Coat. I like to start from the bottom of the nail and work my way up to get as much as a smooth application as possible. Just kind of go around the, um, just kind of go around the nail and wipe the edges. To avoid any um avoid the overlapping stuff I, I the I other just... one I kind of buffed it and removed the shine a little bit but um this one I'm gonna leave the shine on it to see if removing the shine really has a difference on the effect or the outcome of the final product all right so this is going to pop into the lamp um it's like well like my lamp is a uv gel lamp so i usually let it go for about 90 seconds so a full cure because is is like you will be doing uh it's like like a sprinkling paint on 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 a canvas so the dicey effect that i'm going for so i usually clean off the brush very well and then just whatever little is remaining on the brush just lightly like drag the brush across the nail just slightly you don't have to have no real kind of direction or anything you just you know just just you're just dragging it across in to just create a fun light playful pattern not something that you had to give too much a thought to shut, because shut off your mind and you just kind of let your emotions take over. I like to, I don't know, for some reason, when I am doing nails or nail art, I like to <clears throat> turn off, I like to turn on music. I really like to turn on music and I like to zone out. Zone out my mind, zone out my ego, zone out from everything and just kind of let my soul and my spirit take over and just kind of see what becomes of what comes out of me that is basically basically it that is basically how I work and I find when I do that and when I try to think about what I am doing 
it don't really come out all that nice like if i put too much a thought into into the piece that i'm trying to create i don't really like the final outcome of the entire thing i like when i zone out and i just kind of allow my mind to run my, my soul to run free my creative part of me to run now, free. now this one i am going to put this in the lamp to just let it cure and proceed with the other um proceed with the other the other one and this one i think i'm going to do it a little bit different to the last one i think i'm going to go with with the brighter with the same colors same same color scheme but i'm going to go with the brighter option so this one is t15 and um I'm just going to go with the brighter choices just to kind of like get a, a different a different to create like a different effect with this one so instead of the muted colors I'm going to go with the brighter color so instead of the muted orange I'm going to go with the brighter orange. So this one is T17. It's just like you're creating splashes on a, um, splashes on a canvas. That's why I like this design. I when I first started doing no, I'm gonna go with the brighter, brighter um, go with the brighter. So this one is T O, right? T O six. It's a brighter green. Same same set. Just kind of clean off this. not too too much and then um let me see a brighter yellow so this one is gonna go with the brighter yellow in t03 some of these things i just question myself if i close it because it is be closed so tightly so so tight some days is be feeling like superwoman right so Ooh. where did you come from all right so this one is a more well it has more um more polish on it than the other one just to kind of give you an idea on how it would come out if you did it differently right so moving back to this one and putting this one to cure in the lamp while we work on this one so the puzzle piece i'll be using um black in the elsa number in the zebra polish elsa brand um I really like this black for the simple fact that it is kind of <clears throat> kind of very you know pigmented kind of way and it doesn't take much of the black to um to do what I had to do so I just kind of moving this slightly out of frame so that you guys would be able to see what i'm doing also i'll be using some of the clear this is just kind of like 
to keep the bristles of my brush together and um, for when we want to do the whole um the whole shadowing effects thing and i'll be using my detailer brush fine detailer brush also um this is just some acetone that i put in here in case if i make any mistakes i could just rub it out with this all right so the There's first thing that you want to do when you're so doing nail art if you're like me is basically I tend to, to just kind of shake a lot and um, get nervous kind of when i have to for do my anything anchor, that requires me to I concentrate i get very nervous so the thing that i do i use my pinky finger and i anchor like this anchor my hand to the desk so that i wouldn't be um shaking that much when i had to do anything so with puzzle pieces it don't necessarily have to be like perfect that's the entire point of puzzle pieces they could be basically like any um any shape any they could be basically like any shape form design pattern because it's just basically it's a puzzle piece right that's what i like about puzzle pieces i've always liked puzzles since i was a child growing up i've always liked puzzles like one of my favorite things to do i remember this one time my best friend and i well we are no longer best friends but that is a topic for another day my then best friend and i we she had this like really gigantic set of puzzle pieces and we were on a mission to get it set up to get the entire thing set up and her parents allowed us to um right her parents allowed us to take over their whole entire living room like we set down some another thing too when you're doing nail art it helps if you turn the um it helps if you turn it helps to turn the the nail so that you're working in the direction that you're doing if that makes sense you're working in the direction that you um you're working in the direction that you're trying to go with the nail you work where you're at if that makes sense then trying to keep it in one position and not um not turn it around to get a better grip on the nail right so now we're going to do one that kind of kind of like a funky piece funky pieces are always like the best parts of the puzzle i am not a very neat and some people very neat and kind of like just perfectionist with the nail art i am not that type of person i just like to wing it and I just like to just go with wherever my mind takes me with my design. And if there's anything, I will come back after and just, you know, just kind of like neaten it after I am finished doing it. So... 
another thing too it's very hard for me to like replicate a design i for the life of me i could just sit down and do something and it's very hard for me to replicate that same design all over again it's like you're asking me to do the hardest thing ever to replicate a design that i myself just did i don't know why that is i don't have patience to and i can't really sit down and replicate other people work too either because it does feel like i don't know it does feel it don't feel good i mean like i will watch at somebody else's work and i would get inspiration but if you ask me to do back exactly what somebody did i can't do that for the life of me it's like it don't come out good so i just see some really nice stuff on um my hands trembling <sighs> wait, 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 wait. just quaking 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 trembling all right so i am pretty happy with this and put it in the lamp like cure and do the pattern on the other one yeah i can't really replicate nobody else work it's hard for me like sometimes i just see some stuff on instagram another thing that i like to do like in between doing um a design i just kind of like to run the brush in the clear polish it kind of just like pulls the brush back together and keeps it from getting like overly sticky and overly um overly clogged up with too much of um too much of polish I don't really know where I'm going with this design, but we are just going to go. I don't really, I haven't taught this out. We're just going to kind of, you know, just kind of go with whatever and see what we end up with. What we end up with. Because sometimes that's how it is being, you know. Sometimes it is calm and you would sit down here and you would tell yourself oh i am going to do this and i am going to do that and then it just just comes out totally different from how you planned it you originally planned it so i just cleaning up this with some acetone because i make a boo-boo and that is quite all right making boo-boos are quite okay I just put back the brush in some, um, put back the brush in some. If you guys notice that I keep reaching across, it's because my lamp is one of these um, motion sense lamp. And it needs to um, get a hand in it to work. So I, my hand right now is a block buffer. So uh, if you notice me keep reaching over all the time to uh, to put like kind of arrange something, it's me just kind of like rearranging back the block buffer so that the light could come on because I want it to cure really well. All right. So if you notice, I kind of just anchoring my finger on my other hand right and 
then I'm just gonna slightly outline this here the shape of the nail and then come around here and outline this All right so Sometimes these puzzle pieces is be sexy. Mm -hmm. You just wanna kinda curve. Curve it. That is all nail art really is. Nail art is just kinda like lines. And if you allow the lines to work for you instead of you thinking too much about it your designs would come out very nice every time just kind of like lines that is all art is art is just lines curved lines wrong lines you know squiggly lines just lines that is all it really is just lines all right make sure that you guys can see what I am doing. All right. All right, turn this around and we are going to put one here and then come around. Right, and then just fill in this part here. Right, all right. So I try to zoom in and I end up hitting the entire tripod of the stand. All right, so you just slightly come in here and just like out outline outline right so then sometimes if you look at your canvas I don't know for other people, but sometimes my canvas, like it talks to me. Like when I look at it, it tells me where the next thing is supposed to go and how to put the next thing for the best, the best effect. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that. Like I don't have to think too much about it. Like I just look just look at the nail and it basically tells me like where to go what to do because some people just ask like how you know to do this or what you think about this or whatever so it's not really that i just think about it it's just like the canvas is just kind of talk to me in a kind of a way if that makes sense that make any kind of sense to you it just kind of like talks to me and tells me well look this would look good that wouldn't look good you know mm -hmm. and art doesn't need to be like perfect it don't need to be like and some people if it's not perfect perfect and all your lines not straight and everything is not this and it's like no that is not what art is about art doesn't need perfection because it is art you just tune off your mind and you just let your creative 
Mm. Just like the creative part of you, just come out and just show you what to do. Right, so I didn't think about any of this beforehand. I just kind of do it. I'm just kind of let the canvas talk to me. So this is the um, final design. And I'm going to just um, put this into the lamp. And let it cure for some seconds. And we will go back to the other one all cured and looking very nicely now with this one right anchor to avoid yourself from making too much of a mess right when i have to do anything that requires me to concentrate i like to anchor my finger on the desk because whew, shakes are real shakes shaking is real quivering and shaking is real and oh sorry i was out of frame there this is the first time that i am doing this so please bear with me if things are out of frame as i grow I will be better and do better and give you guys better content. I am new to this whole entire filming and talking and trying to work thing. <sighs> right. Um, mm, yeah, just kind of like outline. Just do some outlines. And then just kind of um, just, just do some some outlines. Ooh, we make we make a boo boo, make a boo boo. Mm, and some acetone, and then just you know just just clean it up. Right there, right. Just yes. I like to put the brush in some clear after I put it in the acetone. I just kind of like put it back in clear to just kind of like um, and all the little mistakes that I had made before with the design and it being like smudgy we're going to capitalize on it capitalize on the little mistakes and just kind of like darken it a little bit just work on it and darken it a little bit to give that kind of like really like hooded effect and then you just like to make the edges of the design a little bit more pronounced so in art there are really no mistakes they are just things that happen and you could just keep them and use them and make your design even better than it originally was This. Mm. No. <sighs> I am shaking, 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 shaking. I know it's in his both hands. Shaking is in both hands. Alright. So to me, I think in the corner here, it want something else. Like it's looking kind of like unfinished to me not really looking 
you notice I put in my brush off camera I just put in my brush back in the um in the clear and the black so just get some more of that um right so I find this corner of the nail looking kind of like unfinished so I just want to um, okay I'm good with this never really see a puzzle piece looking like that but hey see what I find this piece was looking just kind of like unfinished. Alright, so yeah. Mind about the little darkness because we're just going to make that look like it's part of, you know, the intention of the design. So this is this outlined. Um, stuff corrected just now let me just make this a little bit more pronounced could use some of the acetone i'm just gonna like clear it off a little bit right just to slightly Neat in it, right? And I'll clean it up. and um, yeah just now put back the brush in some of the um, clear and then just gonna um, just gonna run it in back in this part here right so this is the other one all cure and looking good so now what we're gonna do gonna get some of the no cleanse top coat just put a few drops of it onto your palette and if any of you guys are wondering about my accent I am um, I am a Guyanese by birth, but I have been living in Trinidad for a few years, like 11 years, and is a mixture of Trinidadian and Guyanese. So my accent is a, is a mixture of um, a Guyanese Trini accent. So yeah, that is where the speech comes from accent comes from so now you're going to just lightly mix the black with the clear to form like a, um like well, i could see like a like a like a diluted black this is to do the shadowing i like mine's kind of really like light so that's why you find that i did all of this and then we're just going around the to give it the kind of um to give it the kind of 3d look we're just going and kind of go around the um we're just going to go around the 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 parts of the of the nail right you see this is too dark this is too dark. 
I don't want it so dark. All right, yeah, this might be better. All right, so what you want to do, you just want to go around, lightly go around the inside parts of the um of the nail to give it that kind of shadowy effect kind of 3d effect to say like okay here's the edge of um here's the edge of something to, to make it look as though it creating a shadow make it kind of like pop and stand up off of the um stand up off, off of the the nail kind of way right so you just want to go around the um the inside pieces of the design let's see if i can I don't know why it's so dark all of a sudden. If you guys are hearing anything, that is my landlord cutting the grass. Alright, so we're just going around. The inside pieces. Of the new around here just basically following back the lines going around here mm. going around here I am not feeling nervous when I'm doing the shading, but doing the line work, whew, my hand was just shaking, shaking, shaking. It is just nervousness, right? So we're just going around, we're just going around the, um, going around the edges. Just feeding it out. Feeling out around the edges of the um, the edges of the puzzle pieces to just give it that kind of shadow look. And this shading is what kind of like really makes the design pop and makes it like really come off as something really nice. I like this design so much so so much and it's something that you could do for example if you're doing it for a client you could do this quickly this is something that wouldn't take no amount of time i mean once you practice it and you get the hang of it and you have to do this you have to do this for a client you could do this so quickly and it would be your clients nails would look so amazing and people would believe that you spent a really long time doing nails when in fact you didn't so there you have it see it the shadowing just kind of make it like really just make it kind of like really pop so it, it, it pop and it look it give it like a kind of a 3d effect well i kind of want to see what this would look like with um, some gold dust on it because it, it it just giving me a kind of like a gold dust gold gold flakes kind of vibes so we could just try, see, that uh, really nice kind of, we could just kind of try it with the gold dust, not much. It's like a little few specks of the gold dust. 
I just I just tell him a gold dust, gold dust. No, this wasn't in my original. Um, wasn't in my original thing, but the nail just keep telling me some, some gold dust would look really nice on this for some reason. Ooh, a little too much. A little too much right there, but ooh, in that, you can get back that to come off. The final results. Again, I like to go from the bottom. There's some kind of thing on it here. to go from the bottom to the top of the nail. Right. Right, this is um, top coat in, my top coat and I'm going to pop it into the lamp and then I will show you guys the final see how it look oh it look better there from this angle because you could actually see the the entire prettiness of the nail and had some oh. kind of like iridescent um sparkles i just want to try the iridescent sparkles on this nail to see the final effects are getting jiggy with it getting kind of like creative with it to see you know how it would look and i just didn't you know think about this i didn't think about this at all this just kind of like i look at it and it's like something just tell me glitter glitter it needs glitter so yeah glitter it is glitter it is it is. Oh, this looks so nice. So, so nice. Oh, so sparkly. So beautiful. I really like the glitter. My landlord starting to become annoying with this, this um, machine. This lawnmower outside mowing the grass so yeah this is how this one looks with the sparkle very 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 pretty it's like the camera can't even catch the the prettiness of it because it it's it very pretty to me it looks very sparkly and nice i will insert pictures after so that you guys can see the final final results of how it looks so these babies will get a final photo shoot so again i just like to go from the bottom of the nail to the top of the nail to get like a smoother finished overall finished with everything All right smooth application so there is it ready to pop it into the lamp